What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and for the second time in a single day, I've got a concerning update in terms of how YouTube will be treating its mostly independent creators. We all know that there's a class system here on YouTube. If you're a mainstream media outlet, you can say whatever you want and monetize it. Then there's the rest of us who can say very little and can monetize even less. But for the second time in one day. First, we've already seen, I've got a very concerning update to their algorithm to, to report on today. But the bigger topic now is that YouTube will be removing any new videos, by the way, new videos. So I don't think this will be back, you know, this won't be retroactive, that claim that President Trump lost the election because of fraud. Now, the interesting thing here is the difference between fact and your opinion. It appears that you will not even be able to have the opinion that there was a situation that was uh, questionable. I don't even know if I can cover this new update, which is why it's as important as ever. First of all, if you're not subscribed here on YouTube, please do. There's a red button right down below. I'm just a few thousand away from a million subscribers, and it would just be an amazing thing to reach that milestone. Second of all, please support Alt Media, Odyssey, Rumble, BitChute. These are sites where you can watch videos uh, uh, with a far less uh, oversight, so to speak. I'm not saying that every video should be platformed for just pure sake, because there are videos that break the law and, and things like that. But please do. I'm on every platform. I'm on Odyssey. I'm on Rumble. I'm on BitChute. I have thousands of subscribers on every one of those platforms. If you're a content creator, take the extra five minutes to do this. Look, BitChute automatically imports your videos. Odyssey automatically imports your videos. Rumble, you have to upload, which is a bit of a pain. But you already write a uh, description and title and thumbnail for YouTube, just open another tab and upload it to Rumble. This isn't about making money. Yeah, you're not going to make anything on these other platforms unless you use them to sell merch or other things like that, which a lot of people do very well, or use them to push a subscribe star. For example, I don't talk about it often, but I have a subscribe star that's very, very important to me. It's a free speech um, Patreon alternative that is allowing me to work on a website that will host my videos. You can already see some of the early stuff on IndieMedia.io. It hosts videos from Midwestly and from the quartering. It's not ready for public consumption yet. It needs some QA, but that's why, by the way, if you're in a position to, you know, and you have a favorite content creator, maybe not me today, but see if they have a subscribe star. It's, it's a, it's a, excellent excellent way to support or use their join button it goes miles further than ad revenue now this via cnet youtube will now remove any new videos alleging that president donald trump lost the 2020 election to joseph biden because of fraud or errors google's massive video site said wednesday on its youtube blog essentially youtube now categorizes biden's victory and trump's loss as historical fact and so it will crack down on new misleading videos alleging otherwise youtube noted that its policies already prohibit videos alleging fraud or errors change the outcome of a historical U.S. presidential election, but in some cases that has meant allowing controversial views on the outcome of the process of counting votes of a current election as election officials have worked to finalize counts. This is very frustrating, okay? Every time YouTube does something like this, I see a huge influx of users uh, come over to BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey, and that's a great thing. I'm not saying that you have to switch and use them exclusively, but at least give them a try. Create an account. Many of your favorite content creators are probably already there. And in terms of BitChute and, and, and Odyssey, it takes like five seconds of one-time setup to mirror your videos there and support all tech. This is concerning because you will have now non-English first language speaking people try to understand the nuance of um, what the difference is. 
This is huge. You can't have an opinion that things didn't go. Now, you may be in my comment section right now, when, like reacting negatively to that and saying, well, it's a, it, there was nothing, not, there was nothing proven. Okay, fine. Okay. But again, it's still an opinion that somebody is now being barred from having. Uh, that's scary. Now that enough states have certified their uh, results to determine Biden as president-elect, YouTube will remove any piece of content uploaded Wednesday or afterward that misleads people by claiming that there's widespread fraud or errors change the outcome of the 2020 presidential election. Now, if we look at the actual tweet, uh, I'm sure that the, the backlash was swift. Let's go to this. And this is like, you know, this is from YouTube Insider. Very, very little interaction, you know. Um, so you're saying, so you're using the same tactics as communist China to stamp out free speech online. What a disgrace. Um, you know, in a violation of Section 230, we are now issuing direct guidance on what is and what is not allowed on the platform regarding the election and will be implementing publisher tactics to ensure the information we deem rel reliable will be available. And that's a very important point um, made by a, a funny avatar. Section 230 um, prohibits this type of inter interference. They are not using... Uh, uh, they are not just publishing content. They are absolute, I'm sorry, platforming content. They are unequivocally acting as a publisher and saying what does and what can't. You see, YouTube has finally reached its evil form. Um, you know, this is garbage YouTube. In the end, it will only seek more distrust. Um, you have the communist tube thing here. Um, translation, you will never hear what Z wants you to hear and you will like it. So YouTube is like communist China, got it. I mean, YouTube getting absolutely destroyed over this and rightfully so. The policy announcement from YouTube comes the day after the safe harbor deadline when all challenges to an election at state level are traditionally expected to be finished. A milestone that adds credence that the results of the election are beyond dispute. YouTube and social networks, Facebook and Twitter, have all wrestled with misinformation in the U.S. highly contested election. The problem is what I call misinformation and what Silicon Valley calls misinformation is not the same thing. But unfortunately, Silicon Valley has the enormous power and oversight to be the authoritative source on what is and isn't misinformation. YouTube has 2 billion monthly users and is the world's biggest source of online video. The company also said that it's changing its information panel for the U.S. presidential election results, which are fact-check boxes that show up at the top of some YouTube search results. YouTube will update this panel to note that states have certified the election and Biden as president-elect and to link the office of the Federal Register's office. Did they do this when, when the left was disputing Trump's election? I don't think they did. In addition, YouTube released statistics about its enforcement and other actions. So far, those results, uh, information panels show beneath more than 200,000 election-related videos, adding that the panels were shown more than 4.5 billion times since Election Day. Fact-checking information panels have shown in YouTube results more than 200,000 time, times. YouTube said it has terminated more than 8,000 channels and thousands of harmful, misleading related videos since September. It said that 77% of those videos removed were taken down before they hit 100 views. And it said that more than 70% of the video recommendations on the election related topics directed people to news sources YouTube deems as, as authoritative, which is of course mainstream media. Imagine bragging about how many channels you banned. 8,000 channels. These are 8,000 people's livelihoods. 8,000 people's um, ability to feed their families, to afford continuing education, to, to pay their mortgage, their rent, uh, because they had an opinion that you didn't like. And Dave Rubin posts this. Holy cow, I just got this email from YouTube. Starting today, they will remove content about the election. Uh, 
excuse me, election fraud, even though there are court cases about the election going through the system at this very moment. Adios free speech. The bannings are uh, incoming. And you see pretty scat. And then Tim Pool. I mean, Dave Rubin and Tim Pool's channels are, and Tim in particular is in a, in a rough spot. Um, but now he has said that YouTube has clarified something. Quote, you can still say that Trump actually won. You can still claim that the election was stolen. You must meet two conditions for a video to be removed. You must claim widespread fraud or error and say it made Trump lose. You can still say there's evidence of fraud. You can still say that Trump actually won. You cannot combine the two. What strange times we live in. Mark Dice replies, like all their enforcement, it will be arbitrary and depend on the channel. Small, moderate-sized channels are totally screwed. Tim is almost in the safe zone. They'll give him a slap on the wrist once in a while, but he'll probably be okay. He's probably not wrong. Uh, Tim is um, basically a mainstream news source on YouTube now. Million to multiple channels with over a million subscribers. Hopefully you've subscribed to this one today uh, so that we can reach a million. I don't know if I'll ever be in the quote unquote safe zone, but I'll be here speaking out against censorship and supporting alt tech as long as I'm able. I'm so thankful for all of you subscribing. I'm so thankful for all of you who choose to back me on Subscribestar. That backing is enormously important. Uh, it provides a sense of security and um, in, in, a, in an uncertain time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.